Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. In the last episode we made it to the top of Cajun's Tower and now we are at the Cloven Spire. So as soon as you get to this area make sure that you grab the two treasure balls that can be found on the edges of the area. And now we're going to prepare for my favorite boss battle of the game. And he's pretty hard but since we're buffed up it should be um, fairly easy to take this guy out. First of all, let's check our paradigms. So you're, want, you're gonna want to start off with uh, Relentless Assault, which is Ravager, Ravager, Commando. Aggression, which is Commando, Ravager, Commando. Exploitation, Commando, Sabotar, Sabotar. And make this your active paradigm. So at the start of the battle, we can cast some debuffs on the boss. Next up, we have Solidarity, Commando Medic Sentinel. Diversity, Ravenger Medic Commando. And finally, Combat Clinic, Medic Medic Sentinel. <clears throat> now, if you're extremely hurt, switch over to Combat Clinic and you should be healed up. If people are KO'd, if two, if two people are KO'd and the other person is really low on health, remember you can always summon your Eidolon. Summoning your Eidolon will revive the two fallen party members and restore everyone's HP to full. So you summon as a last resort. If two or more people are KO'd and your HP is in critical status, you can use a summon to get everyone back up to full health. Alright, finally let's take a look at the equipment. For lightning we have a fully upgraded axis blade, a diamond bangle, shaman's mark, and Brawler's Wristband. For Vanille, we have the Marlboro Wand, fully upgraded, a Platinum Bangle, and two Sorcerer's Marks. This will increase Vanille's magic to 1223 so that she can deal significant damage. Finally, we have Fang with a Calamity Spear, fully upgraded, a Warrior's Wristband, a Platinum Bangle, and a room bracelet so that she can get her magic resistance up by 10%. Alright, so once you've made the necessary preparations, we're going to have to head to the center of the Cloven Spire. So go ahead and walk halfway up. And when you get really close to the destination marker, press the left bumper. Make sure you toss a Fortisol and an Agisol so that your characters are buffed up and then step in the middle of the area and get ready. This is my favorite boss battle in the game. Look! It's acting strange. He must be weak from losing his tail. <laughs> yeah? That uh, looks plenty feisty to me. He's bluffing to scare us off. Let's just go with that, alright? Come on! We can do this! On your toes. All right, at the start of the battle, immediately do Libra. So after you Libra to Haka, you'll see that he has a whopping 2,314,800 HP. So you may think, holy crap, this is the most HP we've seen so far in the game and it blows everything out of the water by a long shot. This is almost triple anything we've ever encountered. He has a chain resistance of 70, a stagger point of 320%, the common drop is unknown and the rare drop is none. Over on the right hand side you'll see his status immunities. He's immune to D-Shell, Vigilance, and a couple others as well as Daze. His magic vulnerabilities are normal except for physical attacks or how but he is susceptible to imperil. So start the battle off with Commando Sabotar Sabotar 
so that Vanille and Fang can debuff the boss. And you're going to need to work quickly because the effect of your shrouds will wear off. New strategy. Once you have Deep Protect on the boss, switch over to Relentless Assault and work on staggering him. Once the boss is staggered, raise his stagger percentage up to 650%. Once he's at 650%, switch over to aggression and let him have it. Also, once he's staggered, he will fall to the ground. This means that he is currently immobile, allowing you to sit there and plaster him with magic and physical attacks. So again, raise up his stagger percentage up to 650% and then switch to aggression. It should take two to three staggers to finish him off. Personally, I like boosting his stagger percentage all the way up. And then switch over to aggression and if you're strong enough you might be able to take them out in one stagger he's done for all right so for beating the boss you get 33,000 crystal gem points. Also, you'll get a Tetradic Terra. We go now to hunt down evil where it hides. So I guess that means there are still more monsters like that one out there. Sounds like it. Somewhere out there on Grand Pulse. <laughs> Gone just like that. A big hunk of rock, that thing sure can move. Guess they're just doing what they can too. Trying to save the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's not all on them. Last time I checked, we are still in this fight. Arab is right down there then, isn't it? Yep. So what's it like? Well, it's kind of small, but it's warm and green and very naturey. Around the Thal Sea, it was flowers as far as you could see, huh? <laughs> View from here? Hmm? Ain't so rosy, I'm sorry to say. You want to wait here? No. I need to see for myself. It's all gone. Every trace of color. We're chasing shadows. This whole idea of losing our brands is hopeless. There's gotta be a way. Let's keep on looking. That's what we came here for. We all agreed, and now we're here. 
You think... you think it's really possible? Sure. Anything is. <laughs> There's no going back. You don't think I know that? Come on. So after the battle, there will now be enemies on top of the Cloven Spire. Now before we head over to the newly accessible elevator over on the left hand side towards the bottom of the area, there's some more stuff that we need to take care of in Tajin's Tower before leaving, such as a sea stone and getting the elevators lined up so that we can ride the central ele elevators to all floors. Alright, so we're going to take care of that on the next episode. For now, let's head over to the save point. So after the battle and the scenes, go ahead and save your game. And that's going to conclude this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII. I'll see you guys next time, wherever we take care of the remaining optional stuff in Tajin's Tower. And then we'll move on to this city of Orba.